everybody out. Bill keeps showing up and taking up home. God, I wish I had. Can I preach the way I want to? Bill keeps coming up talking about you ain't got no home this week. Yeah, I, I thought I had somebody there. Bill keeps coming in talking about no lights this week. We y'all gonna y'all gonna ride it out with no lights, no water this week. Yeah, that's how Bill will just try to overtake your house. But this woman of God. Yeah. Well, well. Said in her heart, how can I leave out of a relationship that was good to me? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, and then end up in a relationship like this. Yeah. I can't even look at somebody and tell them I can be bad by myself. You're going to miss this if you think that this is a message directed towards the men only. You're going to miss this if you believe this message is simply talking about empowering women. But this message is unbiased in its point. And the point is, is that God made us better than how we're living. That's right, that's right. This woman says, look now, I refuse to be in a place where I'm crying in the morning and crying in the evening. I, it amazes me of how many church folks have had to start taking nerve pills because Beagle was showing up so often and it was stressing them out and they come to church and try to find relief and there's no relief to be found and so they have to take something to calm their nerves. Other folks have let Beagle drive them to drinking. Other folks have let Beagle drive them to drugs and whatever Beagle agenda was, we become a victim of what Beagle wants to do. But this woman here says, look now, I can't let Bill influence my life or my children. Now y'all sitting here, I'm not going to let Bill come in and pass down through my generation, down through the inheritance of another problem. <laughs> I'm not going to live from hand to mouth. I'm not going to live from week to week. I'm not going to allow the enemy to put me into a position or a place where I can't do what I want to do. And so if I'm going to get free and delivered, I'm going to have to get Bill out of my house. Bill got to get out. Look at somebody and tell Bill got to go. I know it sounds unreal to some of y'all because Bill has manipulated you for so long. You don't even know what it feels like to be free from debt. But look at somebody and tell them I might not know what it looks like, but I know it when I get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it when I get there, when I get there. And so she goes to the man of God, the servant of Elijah, the man of Elijah, and she says to him, look now, I got a situation, I got a situation that I'm still married to, and I need to get free from all of this. I wouldn't mind being a widow, I wouldn't mind being a widow, but I can't get free from this until this get dealt with. And so it was Elijah then that instantly began to say, well, uh, what am I going to do about it? Uh, isn't that amazing? Because when they came to Jesus uh, and they said, Master, they don't have any more wine. Uh, he has to say, what I have to do with these women. Uh, in other words, why are you coming telling me? Uh, but she stayed right there and it was Mary who said, uh, whatever he said do. <laughs> I gave the look at somebody and tell them, just do it. Glory! 
sweet. I know, I know, I know Miss Jenkins, that's your mama's jug. And don't let them have, I know Miss Jenkins. I am not going to break in Miss Jenkins. I know, yes ma'am, I understand Miss Jenkins. Can I have the jug? Yes, yes. Because I'm not even here until I get a Miss Jenkins. So just keep talking, but I'm going to wait on it. Just keep trying to make it feel good. That's all right. It's just a little while now. It's just, it, we've been making good. 